Hello there guys. Look what I found the other day. Buried amongst this salt bush. You may wonder what it is. It's a baby one, that's why it's hard to tell. But it's a grass tree. They take a long time to grow. And this is the baby one, as I said. I'm gonna show you what's happening in the garden at the moment in spring with the grass trees. There's about four or five here. There might be more that I haven't found yet, little baby ones. So, we're gonna go for a little walk. You can follow me. Ben's walking backwards. I told him to walk through the wetland, but he wouldn't do it because probably he's going to fall over on his thumb and do a backflip and you'll see the sky, which would have been really funny, I reckon. Anyway, I digress. We walk through the beautiful Air and Earth Gardens over the bridge. We're going to walk through the mud hut, as you can see, beautifully made by volunteers many, many years ago. And to this one here, much bigger version. They're amazing prehistoric plants. They were around when the dinosaurs were around, I'm pretty sure. I'm not an absolute expert, but that's, 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 that's the male, I think. But they come in different shapes and sizes. As you can see, this one's a bit curly in the leaves, or I'm not even sure if that's a name. That's probably not the right name for the word, but, but the, the fronds there. They're curly. They're bendy. Come around here, look at this one. We have an old one. Sticking up here, an old flower. All the little petals and stuff. Pollen's in there, flies and bees and things love them. And that's a new one coming up here. This one, the other time, uh, last year not, or the year before, when it sprouted, the actual um, stem was all bent. I don't know why they, they grow like that. Uh, we're going to walk again. I forget, Ben. It's doing well. So we're going to walk past the beautiful emu bush, um, the myoporums, the uh, underneath the big poly emu bush. Beautiful cave of nature here. Past all these flowers and the great myrtles. Through to the back area. And up here. Look at that. That was hard work. Look at these. In flower. Just in one section. You smell them, I wish you could. They smell like, oh, it's like a peppermint honey. Beautiful. So, as I said, bees and things get attracted to these and just drink it. These trees are well, here before me and will be here after me because they grow for you know hundreds of years. But these have only been here, these bigger ones have only been here for about 10 years. Or so, Karma Wallace, our founder, planted them. Uh, and I'm hoping that we spread, we get a lot more and they spread around. But like I said, they take a long time to grow. You can buy them in nurseries um, where they're quite tall, but they're quite expensive. A good place to see them is at Livingston National Park. They're everywhere. And they're all different shapes and sizes, big trunks, double trunks. They look like, from an, not from this world. They are prehistoric, of course. I just thought I'd let you know, because they're pretty cool. They're a cool plant. Come and check us out. Here on Earth you can see them. See ya.